Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden 5. Alright, in this episode we're going to be doing quite a bit of recruiting, so uh, we'll get started on that just in a second. Uh, but first of all, uh, we're going to be heading out from Raffleet here, uh, but we're going to be heading back to Agate Prison and you need, in order to recruit one particular character uh, that we'll be going after, you need to have at least Seus or Lile in your party. I've got both just because, you know, I like uh, having them around uh, at this point of the game. And the third one that we'll be recruiting, we'll, you need to have Silides in your party. So if you don't have any of those uh, members in your party, go back to uh, Rainwall, talk to Lucerina, and, you know, get them in your party kind of thing. Uh, do not talk to Lucretia. Do not. So, or else you'll advance the uh, storyline. So, alright. Alright, let's uh, talk to... You know, see if we can get Cyro. Nope, salt's still pretty low. So I guess, uh, we'll try again later, I guess. Alright. Hey, it's Mirad. What are you doing here? In any case, please join us! I guess. But yeah, uh, that's another step. You need to talk to him right there in order to trigger the next step in the sequence to be able to recruit him. So there we go. And you need to, again, uh, invite him to join you. So. Alright, that's taken care of. So let's actually go after the recruits that I am certain to get. <laughs> Alright. If you talk to Log, he can take you down the river. Let's go with the basket mine again. And the uh, southern wharf is just uh, uh, where to go if you want to get back to a Lord Lake. And uh, just in case you're getting tired of uh, seeing this on screen, you can actually hit the L, the uh, left two trigger, and you can skip it. So yeah, um, if you're not tired of seeing that travel screen yet, you probably will by the end of the game because of how much we're going to be uh, going back and forth. But anyways, all right. Time to head to Agate Prison. Going straight through to the Dwarf Camp. Cross tactic formation skill is so awesome against multiple enemies. <laughs> Alright, the first one we'll be recruiting is not in the dwarf camp, but along the way to Agate Prison, so. Get him. Or her. It's, it's a him. <laughs> uh, I know I said I wouldn't. I tried not to spoil anything, but he is one of my favorite characters in the game. <laughs> if you don't know who it is yet, go back and watch a few videos. <laughs> And if you want to know what videos to watch, watch the ones around the Sacred Games. <laughs> Anyways. Remember this fork? Yes, we're going left this time. Is that who I think it is? It is! Eggbird! How's it going, buddy? What are you doing down here?
Scrabble out Maleficent, rancorous, damnable face. Okay, <laughs> some interesting insults there. Perfidious, miserable, odious wretch. Ooh, that, one was, that one just rolled off the tongue. Yes, Egbert joins us, and yes, in order to actually have him join you, you need to sit through all that slow talk uh, without speeding it up and without hitting the X button until that little yellow button on the bottom right there shows up for each uh, text box, so yeah. What would we have you do? We would have you join us right now. Alright, we've got Egbert, and why would I want him? Because he has the Potch Finder ability. I believe he's at level S with that, and at level S, that increases your potch after battle by 60%. Um, now, obviously, we've got the, the Prosperity Ring on as well. Uh, it does not compound, however, it does stack, so the 60% from Egbert plus the 10% from the uh, Prosperity Rune equals 70% more potch at the end of battle, so... Yeah, Egbert plus the Prosperity Ring equals an extra 70% of potch at the end of battle. But that is one character recruited. Let's go after the next one. This next character is the one you need, Seus and or Lele, with you. Seus just got poisoned. Oh. Alright, let's take care of that. And we got, uh, we've just fought a huge legs there, so we've got an extra pair of long boots now. Uh, who am I going to give them to? Uh, Frey or Leon? Let's give to Leon. Go. And this is familiar territory. There he is.
And Takumu joins the party, but not quite a star of destiny yet. We've got to find his stuff. Um, but yeah, the map that he gives you is very useful, especially if you're not very f if you're not very familiar with the layout of Sol Felena, uh, or Felena itself. So yeah, uh, the map actually adds uh, roads and rivers to the, the mini map that you see uh, whenever you're on the, the world map. So instead of just seeing the uh, the dots that indicate where location is, you can actually see whether you can actually get there or not. <laughs> and it's just right here. And we got the map of Felena. Awesome. Most likely. Oh, there you go. And uh, there, now it becomes our star of destiny. Awesome. And he actually enables you to go places that you wouldn't normally be able to because he has the escape route ability equipped. Also, during battle, with him in your entourage, it guarantees you, uh, you to be able to run away from any battle whatsoever on the first try. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the Dwarf Mine off-screen, and I'll meet you there. Alright, we're back. I figured I'd just edit that out since I've already shown you how to get there twice, so... One ba one's backwards as well, so... Yeah. Alright, so we've got Takamu and Egbert. Now, as you might recall, I mentioned that uh, Takamu opens up areas that we wouldn't normally be able to get to. And that's why I'm going to be showing you the shortcut out of here, so... With Takamu and your party, you can head in here. And we get this treasure chest with a prosperity armband. Oh yeah, uh, another 10% uh, of potch at the end of battle. Put it on Leon. Awesome. <laughs> We're up to 80%. Anyways. Uh, anyways. Believe me, viewers, potch earning becomes much easier. <laughs> Because there is an entire full set of armor that is prosperity. So, and when you fully equip it, it instead of 50% more, because there's five pieces of equipment, it doubles it. So, yeah. Anyways, all right, we're done with getting Egbert and Takamu. Let's head back to Raffleet. One more person I would like to recruit before the end of the episode. But let's, uh, you know, while we're here, check up and see if I can get Cyro again. <laughs> I'm not letting up until I get him. <laughs> There you go! Awesome! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Anyways, so, that says 600, so obviously it's already... Hey, let's talk to Cyril. I am aware. How would I lower it? Like this. The 7 salt and sell them all! A nice bit of profit, too, so... Alright, so that's that. And let's uh, make sure the price is down. Or at least try to. Yeah. And yes, awesome! Yeah, so it doesn't exactly show up right away, but if it 
works, you get this scene. Alright. <laughs> and we've got Cyro, finally. Awesome. Uh, now I can stop coming in here every single time I <laughs> get to Raffley. Yaka. Anyways. Alrighty, so that's that. We've got Cyro recruited. Awesome. Alright, so there's one more. As I said, there's one more character after Cyro that I'd like to recruit, and she is located in Hod Village, so I'll uh, head up there off-screen and I'll meet you there. And remember, to get to Hod Village, just head northeast from Raffleet, cross the bridge, uh, north northeast of Raffleet to Rainwall, cross the bridge at Rainwall, and then head straight north. Alright, we're in Hot Village. Now, if you remember the first time we came through here, we met a rather interesting lady that wasn't too pleased with the way we were dressed. Well, now that we've got our Princess Diggs on and Sileads has her uh, usual get-up on, let's see what she thinks of us now. Josephine. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Josephine, awesome. Wow, this video has been very productive. Got everybody I was looking to get, plus one, and uh, a little extra surprise for you guys as well at the end. But anyways. Alright, so that's all the recruiting I have intended for this episode, which means all that's left is to advance the storyline. So I'll head back to Rainwall, and I, I'll, I'll meet you there. Alright, so we've got Obero, you know, well, we helped Obero finish the investigation with Norden, and now they're just trying to help him gather his thoughts, gather his wits, get his head together. So I guess well, there's not much else we can do, except maybe just head back to the mansion and uh, talk to Lucretia and see what's on her mind. She seems to think Lord Barrows is up to something, but anyways, that remains to be seen. Where do you go? Uh, not really. What? Well, I hope she didn't hear me say that, but anyways. Alright, let's head up to... Uh, the bedroom, I guess, and take a rest. We've done a lot today. Yeah, I guess so.
kidding me? Who's waking me up at this hour? Really? Couldn't it wait? <sighs> All right. King. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Betraying Felena. I'm not fighting to become king. So Lord Barrows shows his true colors now. All right. Yeah. Just in case you weren't able to figure it out, this is my favorite soundtrack of the entire game. <laughs> Gives me so pumped. Leon's happy, and so am I. And Leon joins, and alright, let's go. <laughs> Cellar full of gold, eh? I wouldn't be surprised, considering how rich he is, but anyways. Oh, I've probably got an idea of what he thinks he's happy about. Focus, Kyle, focus! <laughs> Alright, Lucretia. Indeed he did. All right. 
right, so... Solemn Barrows shows his true colors. And it sounds like Lucretia has a plan. I wonder what it could be. Find out next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one. And I know what you're wondering, viewers. What would have happened if I was fighting to become king? Stay tuned. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I would like to become king. I've made up my mind. I have a report for you, Your Majesty. Under the pretext of supporting the East Kingdom, the Armis army has crossed the border and occupied Rainwall. Your Majesty's brother, the pretender to the throne, has apparently been murdered by Lord Barrow's men. I see. That damn fool. Why didn't he realize he was being used by Barrow's? Your Majesty, I believe now is the time for decisive action. I realize that! The East Kingdom has no right to take over our lands. Rainwall and Estrys are within the domain of my queendom. I order these lands to be reclaimed no matter what, even if it means using the Sun Rune. Yes, Your Majesty. Leave it to me. Send messages to Generals Luger and Novum. Prepare for an all-out attack. I'll be going into battle as well. Yes, sir. You fool. You stupid, stupid fool.